This is the first time that uh, our most prestigious learned society is engaging in technology transfer in, in such a, an innovative way. It's time they did sort of get down into the trenches a little bit, you know, not be too lofty, um, and actually do something practical to help the scientists turn their ideas into reality. The Royal Society's Enterprise Fund is a significant component of the 350th anniversary campaign to support science into the future. It will serve as a bridge between scientists, venture capitalists and the business community. The Royal Society has enormous competitive advantage uh, for cre the creation of something like an enterprise fund. There's the obvious advantage that it has an unrivaled network of scientific and technical expertise to call on. One of the duties of scientists is to create knowledge and disseminate knowledge. You can do it with papers, you can do it with, um, with lecturing, but you can also do it by getting product out into the marketplace and, and making the world a better place. And I think the unique benefit the Royal Society can bring is time scale. We're not fixed to a particular time scale. We can afford to invest for the long term. The Society has a growing number of fellows who have been successful scientific entrepreneurs. When I started off as a, as a young scientist, um, it really wasn't the thing to do, to become involved in exploitation. And I think that now the position has definitely shifted, so people such as myself are tolerated, uh, we're allowed to stay in academia and also to, to become involved in companies, and I think that's very good. Gregory Winter's pioneering research into antibody technology led to a spin-out company which was sold to AstraZeneca for over £700 million. The Enterprise Fund will initially be seeded by charitable donations. Uh, we've already received um, a very generous uh, seven-figure gift um, to kick the fund off from Roger Brooke, um, who's also one of the members of our advisory panel. Moving from research to commercial, commercial is quite difficult. You've got to get the management, you've got to get the money, you've got to get a good market plan, you've got to be commercial, which is not what academics are normally used to being. The overall shape of this fund um, has been created with the advice and input from the best uh, people in the business. I think it's very important for the Enterprise Fund to be a commercial fund and not a grant-giving body uh, of the Royal Society, because unless they can make money, they should just stay within the confines of academia. Our initial target is to raise uh, 20 million, um, and that's a sufficient uh, sum in order to create uh, an activity that um, will be self-financing over time and generate a return back to the society. Um, I think beyond that, we can see actually that this opportunity could grow very, very significantly. There isn't anything like it at the moment. The nearest equivalent on a huge scale is the Wellcome Trust. The Wellcome Trust has been built up by shrewd investment, including, I may say, investing in venture capital. But that means that if you have a good health project, you can usually get it funded in the UK. That's not true of other areas. The environment research, electronics and engineering, the whole areas where we don't have the resources. So that is one of the things which I hope the Enterprise Fund will be able eventually to put right. I'm uh, very pleased that the Royal Society is launching its Enterprise Fund and I'm very pleased because of uh, what it will allow us to do with the UK economy. And the question is how do we remain competitive the knowledge-based economy and our service industries are at the heart of that. We've got world-class academia with at least three and now possibly four of uh, our universities in the top 20. We now need to make sure we've got world-class translation. And so for the Royal Society to launch its fund and demonstrate that the Royal Society is to prepare to invest in translation is excellent. I'm really excited by this and I think given the competitive advantage that the Royal Society can bring, uh, I think it has an outstanding opportunity to become a really major force in early stage business commercialisation. Mm -hmm.